<clears throat> Good evening. I want to invite you to my dinner. Mm -hmm. hmm. This is pretty shitty meat, but there's fat on it. You know, it's interesting. In Germany, it's, it seems to be impossible to get grass-fed meat. I'm still trying. I'm, I'm moving in the right direction. But when I ask a butcher if he knows where to get grass-fed meat, he's looking at me like, like a fucking alien. This one's not bad. Hmm. <coughs> Today I tried a new butcher and he seems pretty good. Mm. You can taste the meat. I started carnivore with uh, 100 kilograms. Right now I'm at 91.5. I'm still losing weight, approximately uh, one kilogram a week. But I'm trying to to get hungrier. You know, at first I. I wasn't able to consume more than one and a half thousand calories a day, but now I'm I'm moving up to one what six one seven one eight. It's a good sign, and I've lost so much fat. I didn't even know that I had the fat deposits that I lost in the recent weeks. Hmm. In a few weeks I will have a six-pack. You know, when I was... There was a time I was going to gym pretty hard because I thought sports is the most important factor in uh, health, but that's just not true. The most important factor is what you eat. If you want to have a six-pack, change your diet. You don't even have to do sports. And you will automatically get one. Change your diet to two thirds animal fat and one third protein. Let us talk about masculinity. You know, with Gillette and all this shit going on, and and also from my personal life, every day I see things that I believe demasculate men. I see stupid commercial posters everywhere in Stuttgart that make men look like fools. And I'm always thinking, what impression do young men get when they grow up in such a society? I think the proper term for it would be Masculophobic, but you know what I also think? That smart men are strugglers. That smart men do not give up, no matter what. They will find a way, and in the end, that's what nature is looking for. For a man who has found a way out of the shit that society or nature produces. He found a solution. He cultivated space. So don't let yourself be discouraged by stupid people. Just find a way to make it work. No matter what you're doing. I'm adapting more and more to 
fat. By this time I am craving fat and it feels it feels incredible. You know I'm coming from a sugar addicted background and um, at first you experience whenever you eat a sugar addict you experience the huge up when you eat so you have to eat every few hours but the more I turn to fat burning the more my liver adapts to processing fat instead of sugar the more constant my mood is positively constant have you ever heard of the zone sportsmen sometimes are in the zone the zone of proximal development where you feel pure joy and happiness the further i get into carnivore the closer i am to this zone and i always thought this zone is a temporary state but i believe it can be a permanent state if i would describe it spiritually I would call it heaven or ascension and this is the key hmm. this is also the key now I don't know if you if you uh, know these things this is bone marrow and in, in the US as far as I can tell they cut the bones longwise, but here in the Germany they cut it like in stripes, so it looks like this. It is also very hard to find good bone marrow. I hope this one is good. Let's try. Bone marrow is by the way pure fat. The way to heaven is fat. It's okay. You can eat it like a, <laughs> like some dessert. Mm. The majority of time I was scared by women and then I read a book and I defeated my anxiety but that was before going carnivore I believe that the main thing that makes men anxious today is low testosterone testosterone will make your life wonderful and the main thing that influences your testosterone negatively is a diet the less animal products you eat or let's call it vitamins nutrients the lower your testosterone level drops the more sugar you eat or refined carbohydrates the lower your testosterone level drops the higher your testosterone is the less of a fuck you give about unimportant things in a positive way do you want to care how some person might think about you who you don't even really know i don't let's call testosterone having big balls the more animal products you eat the bigger your balls are 
and tell less of a fuck you give about unimportant things. And the more you can concentrate on important things. If you want to be a strong man, there's no better way to starting by going carnivore. But if you want to stay weak, you can go into the gym and try to raise your testosterone that way. But it doesn't work. Testosterone makes courageous. Courageous. Hmm. If I had a chance to teaching myself how to lose the fear of women, I would grab myself by the neck, slap me in the face a few times, and force me to eat meat. All this psychological bullshit, all these things that you should do or you should not do become irrelevant after you have taken care of health because once your testosterone level is on a healthy level you don't give a fuck about unimportant shit you don't give a fuck about women you don't give a fuck about procreation you don't give a fuck about your job, and I mean that positively. You just lose the anxiety to fail, and you start concentrating and working towards the important things. There's, there's no better cure for unsafety and anxiety than carnivore. I am done with my meal. It was delicious. I wish every single one of you a pleasant evening.